Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well, just hit Mythic yesterday with the deck you see behind me, Mono Green Stompy. It's an absolute beast. You're going to want to see what I have to tell you about this deck. But before I get into that, I do want to remind you when we hit 500 subscribers, we are going to be doing something very special, all kinds of giveaways. But to find out all that information, check down below. Also, please rate, review, and smash that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for being a member of the Brew Crew. It means a lot to us. Would you please also check down below? Join us on Twitter join our discord share this on social media and even maybe consider being a patreon all the money is going to be going back into the community so what do we got for you like i said it's mono green stompy i did not create this deck all the credit has to go to a arena craft podcast our johnny and of course the one and only cgb they posted it on their twitter um i put i just decided to you know give it a try it just kept winning and winning and winning it just went right into mythic i wasn't even gonna make content with this deck because it's not my deck the fact that i did hit mythic with it i feel like it, we i have to share this with you the brew crew and anybody else that is watching so what do we got going on so first off we have four of the new ranger class i'm sure you've seen a lot of these cards flying around already but just in case if it is a new card i am going over them ranger class is one green one colorless. when ranger class enters the battlefield create a two two green wolf creature token so you're already getting the value two two for two right there it's already a good card then you can level it up for one green one colorless. really cheap for the effect which is whenever you attack put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature that gets out of control really fast and then the last one is even super strong late game is because it's kind of a pseudo draw for you pay one green three colorless you may look at the top card of your library at any time you may cast creature spells from the top of your library so that can be very very helpful later on and then the other card i have in this row is we have three oran reef oozes one green two colorless you've probably seen it before but let's just talk about it it's important for the deck it is a 2-2 two -two when it comes out, kind of. It could be a 3-3. Three -three. When Orin Reef Ooze enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. When Orin Reef Ooze attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on each attacking creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. That's going to be almost every single creature in the deck at some point once you get your engine going. Then next, let's talk about our early game creature drops. We have four copies of Swarm Shambler, which is amazing because it comes onto the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. So it's already ready for Oren Reef Ooze just to start doing its thing once it's on the board. Then we have four copies of Werewolf Pack Leader. This is the reason this deck is so strong right now. Two green for a creature human werewolf. It's a three, three pack tactics whenever you, werewolf pack leader attacks if you attacked with creatures of total power six or greater this combat draw a card that happens a lot in this deck it is going to get you value and it's tough for your opponent to deal with a three three unless you're in like a mirror match you can also pay one green three colorless until end of turn werewolf pack leader has base power and toughness five three gains trample and isn't a human that's not going to come into play that isn't a human part in this particular deck but you know you might need to pump it later on if you have some mana to sink into and then of course we're going to go at three old growth trolls a solid four four with trample and can give you a little bit of mana ramp later if they kill the creature unless they exile it of course so super super solid one two three drop it, it just can get out of hand quick next we have our late game drops we have three ezekiel's chariots not only is it going to keep making more 2-2 two, two cats but there's a lot of times where your opponents are you know uh sky clave apparition in your stuff when you get that token back you can copy those it's just another really good card you have the chariot on the board you can use old growth troll to uh power it up later immediately if you throw a seeker's chariot into old growth troll there's just a lot of things you can do with it super super solid card gotta have a toski in there why not indestructible can't be countered just draw some more cards don't need a whole lot of them one will do the trick and then we have two gnarled professors it's two green two colorless for a five four trample but it gets you to your lesson cards in the sideboard which we'll go over in just a moment and before we get into our lands we have some protection spells or some fight spells so we have four blizzard brawls just to make sure our opponent uh doesn't get to keep any pesky creatures that they're throwing at us and we can get through and two snakeskin veils uh, i have learned to against certain colors especially like white or um you know the mirror match with green where they can either fight you or exile your creatures i have learned to kind of slow play maybe turn three werewolf pack leader turn four the old gold troll if you have a snakeskin veil in hand to protect it because if you don't protect it they can blow you out real quick so just make sure you're playing correctly when you do have a snakeskin veil depending on who you're playing against and then our land package is one layer of the hydra you don't want to get caught with too many of these one is nice you got 20 snow cover forests we have four faceless havens and we have four kazandu mammoths if you want to throw them as a creature because you don't have anything else of course do that that's why it's in the deck but for the most part we're hoping to get this on like turn one 
or or turn two and throw it down as a actual land and then late game when we need uh to spend our mana more wisely we throw it as a creature then we have a sideboard for our gnarled professors when we learn one basic conjuration just to find a, a creature that we might not have in our hand that we want on the battlefield just to kind of say we have a bunch of little creatures or a bunch of big ones because of ranger class <laughs> uh, on the battlefield uh toski's gonna help us uh draw cards but we got to find that toski so we'll use this we have containment breach for a whole lot of reasons but you know mainly for those stupid angel lock decks with the faceless haven pest summoning just because we might want some extra one ones on the ground expanded anatomy can really catch your opponent off guard introduction to annihilation if they have something you absolutely cannot handle mascot exhibition for a late game is a mana sink and fractal summoning just because it can create a nice big creature late game if that's what you need so the deck runs super super smooth most cases the ranger class you may never see that level three but definitely definitely remember you want to get it to level two as fast as possible it really helps the whole deck pop off i can't wait till you see what i'm talking about so without further ado why don't we go ahead now and get into this gameplay okay who do we got murkosh let's see what murkosh has for us oh man we go first we get a draw so four lands a little rough but we have pack leader for turn two blizzards to fight okay they don't do anything turn one so we'll just throw the snow covered forest and pass there's the luminarch aspirant which we can we can keep up with if they don't get rid of our pack leader so we definitely have to do a snow covered forest and a werewolf pack leader next turn we can blizzard brawl it and take it out if they don't kill it skyclave is going to kill it okay that's not we're one turn off one turn away Okay, so we'll go Faces Haven Ooze. Hopefully, hopefully, they don't kill the Ooze, because then we have all kinds of options. We just need the Ooze to live. If they Skyclay, or if they uh, Elite Spellbinder, Starheim Unleashed is not great, but not bad, that's fine. Put the counter on that, I'm sure. So, we throw this, and we'll go ahead and just go like this and then <laughs> and then we're gonna go like this and then I want to save it with the snakeskin veil so we're gonna get in with this because next turn we can just fight that anyways boom take out their whole board and the turn so that leaves us the snakeskin veil to protect it in case they try to do something crazy and the blizzard brawl there's the elite spellbinder it doesn't matter what they take i can still do everything so they can go ahead and have their fun yep yep boom boom and we take our turn Old Growth Troll. So we put out the snow-covered forest. We're definitely going to put out the Old Growth Troll. Let's swing first. Okay, we get in. Boom! Throw out the Old Growth Troll. Save the Snakeskin Veil that our opponent knows about. Book of Exalted Deeds. Well, they can't do it this turn. So, they literally can do it next turn and we just lose. We can't win the game. So, interesting fun. How fun! Take our turn. It's another land. Oh, uh, let's see. Don't think we can win. And it doesn't matter what we do. We just lose. We just lose the game. We don't have any way to kill. Yeah. So... Four, five, six, seven. 
Doesn't matter what we do. Those both die. I mean, we could... It really just doesn't matter. That's still game over. Are they slow playing us? I think they got it, right? They didn't do the combo? Why? I am confused. They would have had it. This isn't an angel. They could have fired up the Faceless Haven and sacked the book. Okay, well, they don't know how to play it. We got it. Sorry, opponent. Good game. What? We got Skitcher. We go first. We have two lands. Blizzard Brawl, Snakeskin Veil, Swarm Shambler, Wolf Pack, which we can't cast. I mean, I'm going to keep it, but if we don't hit another land, uh, green land, next turn, this could be a blowout. So we'll lead with the Shambler. Fast turn. Please, green land, green land, green land. Green, green, green. Oh, it feels good. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to get rid of the werewolf pack this turn, but, I mean, we can't hold back one turn. Don't exile it. No portable hole. No portable hole. Yes! Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go one turn slow on the old growth troll to hold up the snakeskin veil. Because we have gotten blown out a few times lately. End the turn. Maybe I should have just attacked with this, put my mana into this. Skyclave. That's, you see? So, there we go. Boom. Now we throw you. Old growth troll. Get in with the werewolf. A block. We get nothing out of it, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> End the turn. We have another old girl troll if they try to kill this old girl troll. We're drawing cards that they can't exile. Right? Okay, here we go. Blizzard Brawl. I think we're about to blow out Stitcher. Skitcher. We'll see. Oh, they have a fight. Nothing I can do about it. We do get a 1 1. Take our turn. Ooh, another snakeskin veil. Um, these are not legendary, but. Let's go ahead and just... We gotta get this out of here. Or they're starting to gain life. Now, let's... Uh, attack with everything except the Swarm Shambler. Because I am going to pump into it. And then I have the Snakeskin Veil also. And then next turn, we can go ahead and throw the other Old Growth Troll. I'm just trying to... Pre oh, create a 4-4. Four, four, okay. Resolves. Pass. Let's go ahead and activate this ability turn another land let's get in there get in with them all okay boom let's get it going down to one I don't think they can do anything about it okay Good game. Good game. So we'll just fire this up. Yeah. Good game. Woo! Let's go. Who do we got? Jump. We got jump. We go first. Um, I mean, we got ranger class for turn two. Two lands. A mammoth if we want to use that. Old growth. I think we're throwing the mammoth first. And then the old... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we definitely want to lead off in the Mammoth to guarantee turn three land. They have the Shambler. We'll go Ranger class. Werewolf Pack Leader. There it is. Okay, we'll throw our land and we will go... I'm going to go Ooze. Putting the counter on the Ooze. 
No attacks on the turn. Next turn, I can throw another Ranger class into Pumping One. There's their Ranger class. So we'll throw that. Oh, man. That's Trample, I wish. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see. If we go all attacks, two attacks. So we put the plus one counter on that. Submit one. Okay, I did it the way I wanted. Resolve. They just can pump their shambler is all that's going on. They both become four fours. Okay, they're going to pump it, so it doesn't really matter. Done. So we lose a wolf, but they lose... Yeah, that's fine. I like that. Boom, boom. So we still have a 4-4 four, four and a 2-2. Two, two. They're going to pump theirs, probably. What do they got? What do they got? I and mean, we're going to be able to double do it. Ranger Classic. Okay, so we're both doing the same things. I think we got a little bit more power coming down the line. Actually, would love to hit a land off the top, to be honest. No blocks. Okay, so let's do you. Let's throw another ooze. Let's put the token on the 2-2. Two, two. Let's level this up to level 2. All attacks, two attacks. Let's put a token on you. Let's put a token on you. And then both of you get some more tokens. You block the 6-6. Six, six. No? They take it all down to five. I mean, I don't think they're going to be able to do what we just did. We'll see. Old girl trolls to play for them. They're going to pop one of these. Ours are just bigger. Yep, they make it big. No blocks. Take six down to ten. Okay. I think I just want to play the old growth troll here. Put out a Kazandu Mammoth is land. Attack with everything. Put a counter on you. Put another counter on you. That way it maximizes my damage. They have to block both of them. Yes! Ah! Get some! That was gross. We have Kindle. See what you got. We go first. Um, we can't do anything till turn three, so I got a mulligan. Okay, there we go. That's better. Swarm Shambler, Werewolf Pack Leader, Blizzard. Keep it. We got to ditch a land. We lead with the Forest Swarm Shambler. Pass. Being down a card is not good. Cleric Class coming down. Let's throw the pack leader. Get in for one. All we gotta do is untap with the pack leader and we're doing okay. We got to. Cool. Let's throw another pack leader. Holding up the snakeskin veil. Attack with all of this. And the turn. Now if they have elite spellbinder, we're fine. Redane is fine. Boom. Pass the turn. My turn. Um, we're definitely getting rid of Redane. So let's fight with you. I want to draw a card. I wanted to do the old girl troll, but then we don't have protection for the snakeskin veil. Got there. It's all it takes. Get some. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for Mono Green Stompy. And I told you, just keep climbing the ladder with this deck. If you don't have any of the cards in this deck, I 100% say it's all of it is safe to craft. Everything in this deck is solid. None of it's rotating out anytime soon. I mean, Ranger Class from the new set is absolutely a beast. Werewolf Pack Leader from the new set is absolutely a beast. All the other cards are pretty solid. Also, you don't see a lot of Null Professors, but if you don't have to, I think it's a safe craft because of what this deck can do. It is just out of control. Of course, it's safe to craft at least one layer of the Hydra. So, you have my approval to craft this entire deck if you have the wild cards. Definitely don't hold back when it comes to that. 
I'm not going to make any changes. Once again, huge shout out to our Johnny and the one and only CGB. Thank you very much over there at Arena Craft Podcast. This deck was so much fun. You guys are great deck designers. I just want to remind everybody once again, we are doing a whole bunch of fun stuff. When we hit 500 subscribers, check the description down below for all kinds of information on the channel. And as always, until next time, have a blast in the arena.